Hello everyone and welcome to another Cars on the Road color changer video. And if you remember and if you remember and seen my previous color changer car on the road vid video, it was on the Vaps Jammin and Revo Cost cars from the Salt Flaps episode. And as you know, in that's jamming changes from gray to blue, and for Rebel Cost, he changed from a light blue to a purple. And if you remember my review on the Mater and the Light McQueen one from the Sarah Carson Guido two pack, which are my first car on the road color changers. Mater changes from green to brown, and this McQueen, while it says he's supposed to change uh, from red to blue, but he turns from blue into this really weird-looking burgundy purple-brown color, and he looks so weird and like that. And there's also another McQueen that came in the Whale Car Wash playset, and this one changes from red to yellow, just like many other color changer McQueens. And that one, he looked a lot better, because that's what he should have been. That's not how he's supposed to be. And here is this Road Trip Light McQueen that is the one that changes silver to red, and he looks amazing. On package and yeah, he looks pretty cool and yeah, this is the one the newest color changers and the other one was the Road Rumbler one, but I unfortunately don't don't have the rum the Rumbler one and I do I did order the Rumbler one and he'll be coming soon, but he's not here today and yes I did order the silver. M color changer McQueen and he is here now but Road Rumbler McQueen is not here at all unfortunately but oh well and as you can see this Road Trip McQueen has the same exact packaging like Dash Jam and that Rebel Cost had and there's this really cool artwork of Light McQueen uh, and it shows him with like a Huge water puddle that he's on. The Desert Raider Spray. It's the same as that background they did for the 2006 original diecast line. And that was the background of it. The color changers logo. There's the colors of like red, orange, yellow, white, light blue, and dark blue. It's like turning it to those colors. And there's a color. And the color changers logo. You can see some green, yellow, orange, red. And then like a light blue into a blue a dark blue right here that's a pretty cool logo and the water splash and you can see lightning getting sprayed by water and now he's turning into silver and it looks cool there's the car on the road logo and it's just road trip light in between and it not to be confused by the road trip mcqueen that was released in 2017 in the main road trip line from the to uh, from the Radio Springs collection, and I haven't reviewed the road trip ones, which are these kinds, unfortunately. And I don't worry, I will review those. I have a lot of them. I have the Light McQueen one, I have Sally along with Mater, and no, I don't have their trailers, unfortunately, but I do have Red and Red his wagon. Oh, yeah, and here's Ramon. Here's Red. And I also have Flo. Sarge. Sheriff. And the last one I have for the Road Trip Collection was Fillmore. And I unfortunately do not have the Mac one, unfortunately, or Mini Van and Lizzie. I still don't have those, sadly. And there was also a Lizzie one, but as you know, if you know the Road Trip line, the Lizzie one was unfortunately canceled, along with the Fan Favorites one. 
Yeah, it seems like the only variation Lizzie has right now, besides the normal one and the precision one, is only the wedding day one from Time Travel Mater. Yeah, hopefully Lizzie will have more variations than just the wedding day one and the regular one. But, oh well. Alright, and that's all for the front packaging of this Light McQueen. And, yeah, as you can see, there's the same as that map right here on inside the blister. And on the back, it shows the Car on the Road logo, the blue, dark blue with, like, bubbles, the Color Changers logo, Road Trip Light McQueen, Radio McQueen, Flash McQueen, Real Lump and Glow McQueen, and 2 and one and he changed the silver in the warm, hot water, where it's in the cold, freezing water with ice, he turns into red. And there's all that stuff right here. He's made in Vietnam, obviously. And, yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna cut the bill until I get this awesome color changer opened up. Here he is looking out of the package, and he looks good, and he looks kind of weird right now, but... Yeah, and by the way, for the packaging, no, the name tag and the back right here had no stickers. It's not a sticker on the on the packaging, but for Dash Jam and the Rebel Cost, they do have stickers. And when you unpeel, when you peel off the stickers of Dash Jam and the Rebel Cost, it'll read special construction for Dash Jam and and. For Rebel Cost, it'll read Classic Rod, and Lightning mentioned those ab for about those characters, and like he mentions uh, about the import punks for Royce Rebsley, and he mentions also about the rocket powered cars and the diesel truck and that one Salt Flats episode. And yeah, it was a pretty cool episode, and if you haven't seen Car on the Road yet, I definitely recommend you should watch Car on the Road because it's a big thumbs up and I love the series a lot. Everyone loves cars, so yeah, Car on the Road is an amazing TV show and it's pretty cool. So yeah, now let's get on to the review of this color changer. As you can see, he is and has, he has the same as that decal, so like the other McQueens have, like the same as that logo on the hood that reads on the road, radio springs right here, there's like the desert right here, there's like a sun in the middle, and it's a circle. He has his, I think his expression looks the same. Although his eyes are a little bit different, like as you can see on this silver one, his his eyes are down, but the this one that's blue changes into uh, the burgundy into blue into blue, and the one from the car wash, his eyes are more upper, but this one is more downer. And there's his headlights, and there's his. Light year tires and red rims, and it's the same. No lucky, no Kachow lucky lightning bolt sticker on this one for some reason. And he, I don't think he has it in the show for some reason. And as you can see, he has the same sat lightning bolt where it's like yellow into like orange into like a red orange and then turning into red. And there's the same as that sauce pipes and windows. He doesn't have his famous signature on the roof edges. There's his roof laps. And he doesn't have his 95 logo on the roof or the rusty logo on the spoiler. There's his gas cap. And on the back, there's a number 95 logo and the, like, these things to keep his spoiler on and the taillights. And I... As you can see, the, the taillights and the night by part on the back are shiny because it's a sticker. And his eyes and the on, on the road logo on the hood, those are stickers as well. But the lightning bolt is painted, by the way. 
And oh my god, he is slowly turning into silver a little bit. Yes, you can see my fingers are very warm, but oh well. Alright, now I'm going to test the color changing for this McQueen. Hopefully he'll change into this pure red color, like this one and the 155 skill that I guess. Hopefully he'll turn into this kind of pure red or this instead of this weird thing. It looks like the color looks a little different, but hopefully he'll not turn into this. I really want him to turn into this. Uh, to be this kind of red, not this, and it looks like the silver, well, it's not pure silver, but it's hard to make silver plastic, like, it'll be hard to do it anyway, and that's jamming, it is a chrome silver in the, in the show and on the diecast, but not on the color changer, so, yeah, I can understand that they can't really do it on the color changer, like, they can't do silver on plastic, so, oh well. But anyway, so I'm going to test the um, color changing for this McQueen. So I'll cut the video until, uh, we, until, I, until I get the ice on the cold water cup. Alright, here they are at the color changing part. And as you can see right here, there's the Pearson Cup 500 set, which is an amazing set. And as you can see, there's these trainees right here. And like many other cars over here and many over here and yeah right here all right now let's get uh, ready for the this mcqueen i'm gonna do the cold water first hopefully he'll change completely red so finger, fingers crossed if you think he'll change completely red like this one all right three two one Oh, okay, whoa, uh, okay, all right, it looks actually really good, I'm not gonna lie, I know it's kind of pink, but it is red still, like, look, he's literally like a dark red, kind of like the same color, like, I believe some other characters have this kind of color, like, let me get, like, other characters, like, Oh, yeah, that's very similar to Jerome Ram's color. Oh, it looks a little more similar to Leland Turbo's color. Okay, yeah. Alright, this McQueen is a big improvement in my opinion. Alright, yeah, he does change completely red. That is awesome. Amazing. Alright, I know it's not really this red, and but it's close enough. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll accept it. Because this one definitely isn't red. That is a pink burgundy. That is like a brown, purple, burgundy color. Alright, well, let's see if this McQueen can how it looks in, like, silverish gray. Oh, I am really liking the color. Does remind me a lot about the primer McQueen from Cars 3. Yeah, he looks shiny. It's not silver, it's like a silverish gray, but it works. Yeah, he looks really good. And this color really looks similar to these trainees from Cars 3. And I unfortunately do not have Sadiq and Kristoff, unfortunately. And I also don't have Jay with VR headset, sadly. But hopefully I will get those soon. And Sequoia is not even released as a diecast yet. And if you're wondering about Kurt with bug teeth, yes, I actually do have Kurt with bug teeth. I do own him. So, yeah. But, anyways, yeah, this McQueen is actually a pretty good color changer. Okay, overall, do I recommend this McQueen? Yes. Because he changed into red. A lot better than this one. And he looks really good. Because for this one, you can see that he changed into blue, alright. But, like, you can see, he's like this amazing pure blue. But by putting him in the cold wire, yeah, he just does not look right. Like, 
that is not red. Kind of red on the bumper on the back, but that is a burgundy purple. It just does not look right. Because for this one from the car wash, he this one's good. Like, like he goes into this pure yellow, and it looks so good. And then when you put them in here, in the cold water, that is real red, alright. That is red. It looks good. I'm just going to move the die cast right here so he doesn't get wet. And, yeah, as you can see, this McQueen, when I put him in the cold water... Like, that is red, alright. Kind of reminds me about the Rusty's Racing Center, McQueen. Well, the plastic one, because... Well, I do have a plastic Rusty's Racing Center McQueen near me, and... The color is similar. So it really does look like that, and he is red, uh, too. So... Okay, yeah, I recommend these two, this one, well, if you want it, then yes, but if you, but, if you really want a real Red McQueen, I would say, don't get that one, since it doesn't change completely red, so, yeah, I recommend you to get those two, and if I had Road Rumbler McQueen, I would recommend you to get the Road Rumbler one, too, but, yeah, so, yeah, these two are my favorites. This is my least favorite McQueen on the road color changer. And, yeah. And, yeah, guys. So, that's just pretty much it for my car on the road review on this light McQueen. So, anyways, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And, I'll see you in the next video, guys. So, anyways, bye now.